Well, a man who has served more than 30 years in prison for rape, robbery and stalking is about to be released on parole. Some say Charles Lee is no longer a threat, but prosecutors disagree. Seven Action News reporter Jim Kirstner is live in Monroe tonight with the fight over freedom. Jim, fill us in. Yeah, Carolyn Lee's case has been through the parole board, then it came back down here to circuit court in Monroe County. Court of Appeals rules and says Lee should be out on parole, but this was not unanimous. No one knows for sure, of course, um, but we certainly have concerns. Charles Lee was first sent to prison in 1989, convicted of armed robbery of a gas station and raping the clerk. After serving 17 years, he was released on parole. With only three months from that, he was charged and convicted of aggravated stalking a 15-year-old girl. He followed her to school, approached her at home, tried to get her into his car. Lee was living with his mother. The aggravated stalking clearly had a sexual component to it. The prosecutor argued the state parole board abused its discretion by granting Lee parole without reasonable assurances that he would not become a menace to society or to the public health. A Monroe Circuit Court judge agreed and stopped the parole. State Court of Appeals ruled the trial court improperly substituted its judgment for the board. And the appeals court considered Lee completed an array of prison programs to prevent future violent and sexual offenses. The appeals court also noted there was no concern regarding the issues of sex drive, preoccupation, impulsivity. There was some concern regarding hostility toward women. It is my concern that he is a danger to the community. And the prosecutor says state law changed, making this tougher to appeal to the state Supreme Court and win, but he may as a last ditch effort. If Lee is paroled, he wouldn't just be living with his mother or family, he'd be under strict supervision, including having to wear a GPS tether. If he stays in prison, he has four more years to go. Live in Monroe, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Jim.